And today we're taking a look at Nepenthes brevigiae by Edward Ziana uh, from Malaysia Tropicals. So the exact heritage of this plant is a bit um, controversial. Um, some uh, believe that it may be Nepenthes uh, brevigiae by Vilosa, while others um, believe it's Edward Ziana. Now the exact parentage would be difficult to truly discern um, unless we did some genetic testing, uh, perhaps. But even then, um, it seems to be a bit more um, uh, muddled, um, you know, than, than we had originally thought. Um, whenever you take um, a look into Penthes genomes, because uh, most Penthes are from hybridgenic origin already. Now, um, Nepenthes uh, brebigiae and um, um, Vilosa and Edwardsiana grow sympatrically in the Kinabalu range, so it's feasible that um, either um, plant could be a parent or it could be a complex hybrid. But we're taking a look at the structural um, characteristics of some of the plant today just to see where we might get a hint uh, of what the parentage is. So um, you can see right here uh, with a, a leaf close up, um, the edges of the leaf are actually um, quite her suit. Uh, focusing right here, are quite her suit. Um, and the underside, especially around the midrib, is as well. Um, here's another plant. Uh, this is a large basil shoot. You can see again um, it's her suit at the edge of the leaf. Here's a nice large pitcher, lower pitcher. Now let's take a look at Nepenthes brevigiae. Now here's a large brevigiae right here. It's a, a little uh, crowded in this area. But you can see the leaf structure uh, quite similar in many respects. Um, let's see. The, uh, the leaf attachment is very similar. Um, although it's not quite as pursued as the hybrid that we we're taking a look at. And you can see underneath, it does have some, um, some hairs in the midrib of the leaf. And uh, just to show that this isn't a fluke, you know, that, you know, it's, this isn't, um, you know, an abnormal brevigiae. Um, we'll go over here to another very large plant we have and um, show that the characteristics are pretty similar. You know, we get some pursuit uh, characteristic on the edges of the leaf, but um, nowhere as, as large as uh, the amount of the hybrid. So um, now we're going to take a look at Nepenthes uh, Edwards Yana. Watch out. Watch out, Jesse. Okay. So Edwards Yana, here's a larger plant um, that we have that we took a cutting of. Um, so um, you see right here, um, there's actually no hairs on the edges of the leaf. And then uh, the midrib right here has uh, a little bit of hair, but even less than Burbigiae. And um, travel over here, another Edwardsiana, and we see it's similar. Not really much hair on, on the margins. All right, and we'll travel over here. And now here's a, a large Apetis vilosa in our greenhouse. Now, you can see this is a very hairy plant. The entire leaf is, is quite her suit. You know, both um, on the edges of the leaf and you know everywhere else. And you see that it's really uh, shining from the water right now. Actually, all the hairs are collecting on the, on, or all the water is collecting on the hairs. Now we're going to take a look at two hybrids to see if that can tell us anything. Now right here, um, this is a Nepenthes brevigiae by Edward Ziana that I was very excited to receive uh, recently from um, um, Andreas Westuba. Um, this cross was done um, in, uh, in Europe. And um, I'm trying to zoom in right here, but you can see uh, the teeth structure is a bit different on the peristome to me. Um, again, like, you know, I, I don't think we can draw any definitive conclusions here, but I do think that um, you know, that, that is pretty distinct from uh, the Brevigiae by Erziana, or supposed Brevigiae by Erziana, we're just taking a look at. Now, uh, one more plant that would be interesting to consider is uh, 
Nepenthes platychyla by Vilosa. This is bred by Exotica Plants. And, um, oh man, the misters are on right now. Uh, but uh, we'll see that uh, this plant right here um, has a smoother peristome. And um, even has uh, leaves that are, um, that have hair on the edges of them. So, I don't know, it's hard to draw any conclusion really because, uh, you know, that's, uh, you should look at statistics really, you know, like what, uh, what a bunch of different plants look like. You know, right, right now we're looking at, uh, you know, a single, a, a single clone um, uh, for each uh, hybrid group. Um, but uh, it is interesting to ponder. Um, and maybe we'll get some genetic testing going and we'll actually figure out what the root is. Although, frankly, uh, you know, um, it, that, that can be quite expensive. So, uh, you know, uh, can these collectors um, probably are best, uh, you know, uh, not to hold their breath. Or, or maybe they could find a friend uh, who works at uh, Illumina or something who, would, uh, who wouldn't mind doing it in their off hours. Um, anyways, um, we should have a lot of these offered uh, uh, on our website soon. Um, um, it's, a, it's a fantastic plant, whatever, Nepenthes Brabigiae, Brabigiae uh, by Vilosa may be. Thanks. <laughs>